day. Busy, busy. Okay. Here in Maria's Garden in Punta Gorda, Florida, high USA. Anyway, uh, let me see. It's been cold, believe it or not. It's been a little cold in here. And it's been um, raining all day, on and off. So uh, I've been working outside. I've been having fun. And you know my crazy ideas. <laughs> my hair goes like this. Anyway, let's talk about um, um, desert roses, okay? How's that? Okay. This is my little babies. These little babies, okay? These are the ones that I'm gonna fix. They are gonna recover from root rot, okay? I put them in the sun for a day or two. When I feel like they were not gonna root rot anymore and they were in scow, I put a layer, a layer of glue, very gentle, very lightweight, very light layer of glue, and I put them outside, just like this just like this and the rain and the sun and uh, i don't want them to get too dehydrated of course uh, because if i put them and uh, just outside and i don't put the glue by now this will be root rot so uh our, um other thing very important okay this is two three in four sizes okay like you can buy any size any size pots at home depot and lows okay when you the rooting a travel a travel there's a rose that does in this case you have to use the right pot otherwise you have less chance the plant is gonna make it in my case my desert roses have glue so that really doesn't matter what size plant pot I put in, I know 100% sure they're gonna make it, okay? They're gonna make it, doesn't matter what. So for this size pot, for this size pot, I will, um, I will, I will use these ones, okay? These ones over here. Uh, for this size pot over here, I use this one. For this size pot, I will use this one. Okay, why? Because there is more. So this is what you do. Okay. Um, I already plant all those, and I'm gonna leave it in the rain because the rain is not gonna kill it. Trust me. Okay. So what you do is get a little bit of soil out, a little bit of soil, put it there, like this. Okay. Make sure you don't have air pockets in your, in your uh, pot, okay? Like that, and that's it, okay? That's all you gotta do. And try not to disturb it for the next six weeks, because in the next six weeks, this plant is gonna be rooting, okay? So, this one, the uh, gallon one, this is a gallon, okay? This gallon pot over here, you're gonna put it right there. No, you don't want any air bubbles okay air packets or whatever you want to call it sometimes i call it air, air, air packets whatever the correct way is air packets okay if you want to correct me go for it <laughs> this one i don't have anything for that okay so all these little ones that i have in here each one of these except this are um how to go right in these pots I, just like this one, two, three, huh? And you see how it's blooming. You think, oh my God, the desert rose is happy. Well, guess what? No, it's not happy. When desert roses get very, very stressed out, that's the first thing they do. They start blooming, okay? They they try to bloom, uh, and they, that's when they stress out. Okay, there you go. Um, this one over here, okay? Right there. And I'm sorry to make long videos. I'm gonna try to make videos le less than 10 minutes and maybe make more videos, okay? And that will work for everybody. So there is the other one. Here we have one more. There's a little more soil here. Okay, put a little more soil. 
for the, for the next six weeks, you're gonna place it in the shade under a roof, and you're gonna try not to disturb the plant at all by putting water straight down. You will have to use a water can, or you will have to use a uh, hose and the uh, rain mold or shower mold, whatever you wanna call it. So there's that one. We have this little baby ready plant. I don't need that. So what we're gonna do right now, look how easy it is, okay? There you go. So we put this here. That's it, okay? And this takes, takes, takes this week. And I showed to you before how they root, okay? It's not it's nothing new. We had to prove that this works, okay? It's good, hard like a rock. And even has blooms. Here it go. It's, it's trying to go. But again, they get stressed out. So, <clears throat> this has to go on the big pot. So there will be this one. You have to be careful of the sizes to root and root and back. Okay? After six weeks on the rooting, uh, either the temperature outside is good, put them, go ahead and put them outside. It doesn't rain, soak in one once a week. Okay, like this. This baby is ready to go. Okay? So there you go. All my babies are planted. These ones over here, okay? You see, I'm trying to find one that is bad. None. They are dehydrated, but it's okay. It's gonna take a long recovery. It's better than getting root rot, okay? So there you go. So, let's check and see how many I'm gonna lose. This one's a little soft. Okay, let's see. So these ones are good to go. They're good. They're good. They're good. I mean, what are good. They're good to be planted right now. Good. Good. It means they're gonna make it. Okay? Okay. They're gonna make it. Uh, this is good. This is, I'm not sure. I'm gonna check that. This is good. This is good. And this is good. Good. I just wanna see how many I'm gonna lose. You know what I mean? That I have high chance of losing. Well, the only, the only two that I have the might have trouble. Oh, all these plants over here, you're looking what? Uh, maybe 48, 40, 60, I don't know. It's only these two. But I'm still gonna go cutting and giving them a chance, one more chance. Okay. This is what we're gonna do. Okay. Let's see, where is my basket? My Maya basket. Okay. So, here you go. I don't have my alcohol. That's okay. So, I find three plants, okay? They are not good. In my garden, okay? You see how this one is having roots? And you think it's okay? All got white roots. Look all this new growing here. You think the plant is okay. Guess what? It's not. It's all root rotting. You see that? It's all root rotting in here. You can see that. So this is, I find the white, because when I get a plant, the best way to do is to to know if the root you have problems, do not pull the plant. Please don't, don't disturb it. Get your finger like that, put them in there, and see what's going on up there. It's hard like a rock, hard like a rock. So this is good. Don't pull them. You don't need to pull them. Okay? Get your fingers up there and try to see what's going on up there, and you're not disturbing the plant. It's all good. That's what you do before you go into pulling it for nothing and then you disturb it. You gotta re root it again for six weeks. So this one, I'm gonna cut a small piece, just like this, okay? Not good. So I gotta go a little higher. A little higher, not good, okay? I gotta go a little higher. This is how you clean it. You cannot just go and cut a big chunk. Because you got a big chunk. Um, my goodness, I need energy. Mm, mm, mm. There you go. 
my goodness you cannot leave anything because on them the plum okay yeah. oh my goodness I almost had to cut the whole thing <coughs> okay there it go still out right there okay at this point what I'm gonna do I'm going to apply the cinnamon here and I'm gonna apply the cinnamon when it's not raining when oh, I'm gonna apply it now and I'm gonna place it just like this in here and let it be the plant is gonna smell and then maybe two days don't let it out too much because the plant will dehydrate okay so two days and then you can uh, put the glue and one day you can plant it so we're looking at three four days process and plant it okay now we have this one over here okay it's the same problem you see that root right there root right there root right there so in this case we're getting very close this is some kind of root right so it's all good um, it's all good don't cut them up too much this over here this will heal okay so good and I'm gonna cut this and I'm gonna cut this a little bit and this a little bit and this baby is ready for glue okay I just want to make a little more even there you go that way when I see it it's ready the stems a little root rod and now this plant has a very high chance of making it it's gonna be a long recovery but the plant will make it okay I'm guaranteed that the plant is going to be okay okay so now I gotta put cinnamon and put it in the sun tomorrow this one I'm gonna cut it here here mm -hmm. my goodness I need more uh, spinach you see that so this is gonna go like this like this like this and this is nothing this is part of the the joint okay but I'm gonna make sure there's nothing there so there so what I'm trying to say cut it minimum as possible to the high the stands this is stand over here doesn't look good this is stand doesn't look good hmm I'm telling you with the glue that we're using with the glue that we're using is very high chance that this is going to work okay so there you go with these plants we got it I'm gonna plant those and these are gonna be okay here are the plants that you guys are gonna get okay the I'm gonna send I have some over here some in somewhere else some people is gonna get this okay I'm gonna get this the people is gonna get this is gonna get one they are not root rot, okay? I prepare them before I send them to you. That way, you're gonna have zero problem with root rot, okay? You see this, don't say root rot. Maria sent me a root rot. Maria doesn't send you root rot. Sometimes I did, but not all the time. There's some bark in there. This, I did this for a reason. When this dries tomorrow, when the sun is hot, I'm gonna place the glue, and it's gonna be in the way, most like a Thursday, all these plants. Uh, this is a this is not this is a sample that I was gonna uh, do it and I lost the video I was gonna show you this one it was very dehydrated forget about it so um, many of these plants are gonna be coming to you and uh, some people is gonna get one big one some people is gonna get two I don't know who you are I don't look that I look by colors and pull what it is there now this is your surprise a big surprise yeah you got ready okay this is it this is it man look at this my husband is gonna kill me because he don't want me to get in this letter how long ago you have this letter honey 25 years 25 years he has this letter up in uh Blaisville, georgia i believe he built a house there with his with his wife they resting in peace anyway this letter he 
was gonna throw it out and I said, no, 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 you're not throwing the ladder out. No, but you get in there, you're gonna break your neck. Uh, wood ladders are not safe. I said, no, 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 you're not throwing it away. I promise I'm not gonna get there. But you know what? Can he stop me? I'm here, he cannot stop me. Anyway, my husband is filming today and he's doing a real good job. So what you do, what I did, buy a couple dog ears from uh, Los Home Depot, very inexpensive, like a dollar something. Buy, uh, I had these old ones already. I had these hooks. I had these hooks. I had these. I already had these brackets over here where you can put a planter, you can put a planter, and you can put a planter there. You can see I skip one here. I skip one here. And I skip one. Why? Because that way the plants have more room. You can, you can uh, have this beautiful view over here. And also, you can turn around and do the same thing here. All depends where you're going to place it. If you're going to place it in a place where people can see it this way coming in, or people can see it on the other side, or people can see it here, you're going to have the whole thing beautiful. And this is it. See how easy? What I spent maybe one, two, three, six, six dollars, and that's it. Okay? You guys, I love everybody, and I just want to say one more little thing. This coming Friday, we're going to start doing this. I'm going to be available for you guys from uh, 11 to 4. No, from 10 to 4, I'm sorry, from 10 to 4, six hours for you guys to call my phone use the whatsapp or text me you're working and i'm gonna be there sitting in my desk in the little cottage doing many things i had to do there and i'm gonna be answer questions uh whatever you need to know and uh, that's how i'm gonna do it why because my youtube is getting too many questions and i don't have no rest i i go to sleep at one o'clock two o'clock and it's become a problem i love you everybody and i hope you guys understand and I really, really appreciate each one of you. And uh, you wanna call me, feel free to call me. And at any day, or text me. If I had time, I'd be happy to talk to you. Like today, I talked to a few people. But the main day that you really gonna have to catch me, and I'm gonna be available for you, is Friday, every Friday, of the, every Friday. Every week, from 10 to 4. Until next time, from Maria's Garden. Love you guys. Bye-bye.